Good evening, FTC family. This is an unfortunate breaking story uh, that just happened. It was literally just posted a few hours ago. Um, I posted a button check episode earlier today. Literally, as I was posting it, I saw that everybody was tagging me and I was trying to figure out what was going on. Unfortunately, it looks like FGC legend Broly Legs has passed away. Um, on his official account, somebody has posted this. Um, and we'll share this and kind of get into some things saying the fans of Broly Legs and the people whose lives he touched and inspired Please take the time to share your moments and memories of this amazing person The family wishes to continue to share his story with the world and celebrate from now till forever This amazing man And then you see this post right here saying on behalf of the family of Michael Phillip Begum, if I'm saying that correctly, Broly Legs, we want to inform friends, fans around the world that Mike has passed on. The sudden loss is devastating to us all. The family needs time to gain more information on his passing and time to grieve through the unbearable pain and loss. He survives through his loving mother, Josefina, and siblings, Jonathan and Karen Begum. In the meantime, please share memories and stories of his greatness. He was one of a kind and always will be the heart of our family. He won't be forgotten to all those he inspired. He lives on through you. He loved what he did and made his mark on the world through the best way he knew how. Living life to its fullest every day and taking it on on his own terms. His love of competition is unmatched and the joy he brought to us all can never be replicated. He was a fighter in so many more ways than one. He was extraordinary, irreplaceable, the most dedicated man you could ever meet. And we were lucky to be a part of his life. Legend today, tomorrow, and forever. We love you, Broly, and may you rest in peace in heaven. Okay, so that's all we know so far. The FGC is reacting, and I'm not gonna get into all of that right now because it's endless tweets and, and I don't want this to be a normal button check, you know? Uh, and, and you also know if you watch button check, I don't hide emotions. I don't edit that out. Um, you've seen me over the years do this, whether we cry or we laugh, I've been in the hospital, you've seen it all, you know what I'm saying? So I'll, I'll probably just keep my hat down through this one. Uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate the family and what they're going through right now where they say, the family wishes to continue to share his story with the world and celebrate from now to forever this amazing man. They literally want everybody to share their stories. Once I read that, I was like, all right, we're filming. We're doing this. It's not going to be a normal episode or anything like that, but I'm going to share my memories with Broly. And let's be real. This guy was a fucking legend. If all of us, usually I say like 70%, 99 no, 100% of us, if we had the same difficulties that this guy had, we wouldn't be gaming. We would not be playing video games. He somehow found a way to play video games. And not only did he do that, he played with his mouth, right? He used his tongue to push through his skin, like, you know, his mouth, to do the controls. And not only did he just learn, he learned, he was the fucking best. At one time, he was like, wasn't he like number one ranked chun in the world? He was always so proud of that, man. Some of my funny stories I had would, you know, I, I never got to like really kick it with him, but I did talk to him a couple times at tournaments, especially when he came to Dallas, you know what I'm saying, for the, um, what was it, Absolute Battles, right? He was always so proud of being called the best Chun Li. If you ever said he wasn't, he always had something to say, you know what I'm saying? There was one time where he was up, I can't remember who he just played, but I was the host, right? And I remember I was making stupid puns and whatnot, and I was saying like, oh, there goes Broly, he's... Chun believable and he's Chun disputed and the, everybody in the crowd was murmuring like uh wah wah type shit right and I go no 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 I got one more I Broly can I do one more and he was like all right do it right and I said you remain Chun defeated and then he was like oh, okay I'll give you that one I'll give you that one right same tournament later on I said uh, something about we were getting ready for something hype right I go everybody get to stand to your feet. And then Broly was like, what? <laughs> this, boy <laughs> this boy looked at me like, what? what's that supposed to mean? And I'm dying laughing like, my bad, bro. Come on, man. Give me a break, Broly. He always made fun of it. 
He always made fun of his challenges or disability, however you want to refer to it. He was an advocate for, you know, handicapped players. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't mean no offense if I'm saying that incorrectly. Um, handicapable. He always wanted ramps. He was always advocating for ramps. Why can't these major tournaments give us ramps? We just want ramps. Like, let me get to the stage. He was like, I, sometimes I'm playing, I'm in finals or I'm on stream and I can't get there. You know what I'm saying? Why can't we in this day and age install a ramp or a portable ramp? And that became a thing. You know, he fought for it so many times. Honestly, I don't even know if he ever got it. He was still doing, he was literally just tweeting the other day. He was always joking. I saw that he tweeted like literally like five days ago talking about he's sorry to his stream or something, something to that effect, right? He was like, work has been hard and he's been a lot tired lately, but he'll be back. And then he posted three days ago about something about Tekken, right? So this obviously was sudden. Those are my memories. And uh, he was a legend, man. He was a fucking legend. I believe, I believe in living your life and living it all there on the table. Leaving it all there. You know how they say like when you're playing baseball or football, they say leave it on the field, right? Leave it all on the field. Leave it all in the ring. That's what I feel. That's how I live. And that's how I film. I leave this shit all out. Whatever emotions I got, whatever I'm feeling, I leave it. I leave it there. If you guys accept it, you do. If you don't, you don't. But I believe Broly did the same thing. This man accomplished impossible things in the FGC, in gaming, period. And I will always say, if you watched Butt Check throughout the years, you would see that, right? Where we said, how does this man not have his own reality show? How is he not more recognized? Yes, certain people did stories and articles on him and whatnot, but how? How is he not on fucking Netflix right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, I always wondered that. Like, as fucking amazing as he was. And like I said, it wasn't just learning to do that. It was like being one of the best learning to do that fucking second to none. You know what I'm saying? And I know he was from Texas. I'm, you know, I've been living in Texas. I'm from Cali, but I've been living in Texas for two decades. And my family, half of them is from Texas. And the part that Texas he's from, I got family out there. You know, so RIP to a true legend, man. I wish the best, nothing but blessings to his mother. Um, you know, his siblings. Uh, best believe once they announce a GoFundMe, if they happen to go that route, we will, you know, first thing I'll put it here so we could all donate and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. It's very hard to get through this. And I don't want to front like I'm like was super close friends with him or like I wasn't. I just have those memories of him and then working with him at the tournaments. And also... Watching him just like you guys, you know, the, and being in fucking amazement of all the things he did. And um, it's really out of respect. As you could probably guess, I'm an emotional guy. And I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about all that if I cry or not, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's all out there. I don't, I don't hold it back. Uh, but yeah, RIP to a true legend, man. God bless you, Broly. RIP. And... um. Yeah, man. Just remember, take this, y'all, and remember to, life is short, bro. Life is short, man. Kiss your mom, kiss your dad, kiss your kids, and just be thankful that we're still here. And let's keep sharing our memories of Broly. And like his family wishes, let, let his legacy live on today, tomorrow, and forever. <laughs>